Jackie Kelly, consumer horticulture specialist with the Mississippi State University Extension Service. January in Mississippi brings a slew of containerized fruit trees to your local nursery, garden center, or farmer's co-op. Now how do you decide what's the best fruit tree for you in your home landscape? Well in today's segment, we're going to tell you how you can do that, get the best tree for you. First, how do you know that the fruit tree you're wanting to grow will grow in your neck of the woods or in your location of the state? And then, is the cultivar that you're wanting to use the right one? We're going to show you how to make those decisions. Well, there's an extension publication, number 966, Fruit and Nut Recommendations for Mississippi, that can help you with these decisions. This pub is chock full of great information that will guide you in making the right decision. For example, you can find out that apples are best suited to the northern third of Mississippi. It also provides cultivars that should do well for you. If you live in the coastal area and want to try your hand at growing apples, this pub will tell you the apple cultivars to try. It also contains information on other fruit tree crops, including pears, peaches, cherries, plums, and Japanese persimmons, as well as the bush, bramble, and vine fruits like figs, blueberries, blackberries, muscadines, and bunch grapes. And very importantly, this pub will tell you if you need more than one tree to provide cross-pollination to produce a really good crop of fruit. So get this publication from your county extension office or from the MSU CARES website and take it with you when you go fruit tree shopping. Okay, well here I am, I'm at the nursery and I got my pub and I've decided that I want to buy an apple tree. Well, according to what they have available in apple trees and according to what I've read in here, I've decided on my cultivar. Now, of the ones that they have of that cultivar, how do I decide which is the best selection of their, of their choices? So, according to our state fruit specialist, you don't want the biggest tree, you don't want the smallest tree, you want the average size tree. Now, you don't want the biggest tree because it may be that it's been too long in the container and it has gotten root bound, or it was freshly dug from the field, put into a pot, and it's left most of its root system out there in the field. Now you don't want the smallest one because it may be not quite developed enough with a really good full root system and it may not have as good a chance as survival when you get it home without some really tender love and care. So what we do is we pick the average size. And I'm thinking right here looks like a really good selection kind of average size. Now what do we look at? Well, we check to see that it's got evenly spaced scaffold branches, and it does. The bark tissue looks good. There's no sign of disease or mechanical damage. Well, this looks like a good one here, but according to the pub for apples, I need another cultivar to ensure cross-pollination and a good fruit crop set. So the search continues. Unless you've got apple trees in your yard at home or in close proximity. Again, let the publication be your guide in selecting the other cultivar if you don't have trees at home that can act as cross-pollinators. So there you go. Now I'm ready to go home with my tree or trees, and I'm thinking, how do I prune? How do I plant? How do I take care of these things? There are extension publications to provide information on all of those subjects, and here they are. Publication 1433, Fruit and Nut Review on Apples and Pears. Publication 1434, Fruit and Nut Review on Peach, Nectarine, and Plums. Information Sheet 1446, Fruit and Nut Review on Ornamental Persimmons. Or Publication 568, Homeowner Peach and Plum Insect and Disease Control. Or Publication 736, homeowner apple and pear insect and disease control. You can grow a variety of fruit trees in Mississippi to provide fresh fruit for your family. And based on the information that I provided here today, plus the resources of Extension Publications and the assistance of a trusted nurseryman, you can make the right fruit tree selection to meet your family's taste. I'm Leah Kelly, consumer horticulture specialist, and this has been Gardening Through the Seasons.